Hello there. This is my bathroom. Yeah. Um, see? This is my bathroom. At school. We're all dressed up for Christmas here. In the water there. Right. There's a toilet there. Okay. No brushes. Okay. So here's my bathroom. And you're probably wondering what are you doing in the bathroom, Victor, right? So I wanted to give you an idea of how small these bathrooms are, okay? So this is, gives an idea, pretty much. Pretty small bathroom, right? Um, let me see, it's about, well, yeah, the length of, length of my foot, my leg, and, um, well, you can see, right? I can, it's about one meter, maybe, maybe one meter, yeah, there we go. Get an idea of the size of the bathroom, okay? Now, why is that important? Well, this morning I was teaching one of my advanced classes. I, in fact, today I have two advanced classes, and the students were telling me the story, sorry for the shaking there, telling me the story of a woman who, uh, let's see, okay, I'll just tell it quick. 63 year old woman, Japanese woman, trapped in a bathroom. She closed the door, like so, and then some piece of cardboard fell behind the door jamming the door so when she tried to open it she couldn't get out right she's trapped in the bathroom for eight days in her pajamas so apparently it was in the morning in the middle of the night where she was about to go to bed and she can't get out and nobody and she lives alone so no nobody's missing her except for her mother who's at the hospital her mother's in her 90s and she visits her mother every day so this is why it's good to be to visit your mom and dad every day respect your elders she visits her mom and dad every day, well, I'm sorry, mom, in the hospital every day. And then one day she stops coming, so the mother notices, you know, something's wrong. After eight days, she finally convinces, they finally convince uh, the nurse to call the police because the, the daughter hasn't been around. You know, I thought flushing the toilet would add atmosphere to this video, but it's taken forever. <laughs> I just wanted some, you know, toilet sound. <laughs> Better than pooping sound, right? But anyway, so the, um, the woman's shoved in the bathroom you know, with nothing to eat in, in this kind of bathroom, right? So, you now you'll notice when you flush the toilet in Japan, you have this kind of kind of little sink over the top. So when you flush over here, this is where you flush, right? You flush here, water, water comes out. So actually, she's able to use this little bassinet to get water from. So she has drinking water, you know? I mean, you can drink it, right? It's not dirty. It's the same water that comes out of the regular faucet. She's okay that way, but she's got no food. And you might think, wait a minute, it's winter, wouldn't you freeze? But that's what I thought. I thought, she must freeze. But what do Japanese people have that most people don't in the world? Heated toilets. Yeah, so our students told us, now we don't have a heated toilet at school. I have one at home. But our students said, oh, you've got to get a heated toilet now, just in case you get trapped in the bathroom. Um, which would be pretty tough. I guess it would be pretty, yeah, in this building, since it's mostly uh, offices, yeah, yeah, over the holidays, you could actually probably get trapped in this bathroom and die. So anyway, every night she would she would hug, turn on the heating toilet and just hug it to stay warm. Uh, maybe daytime too. I don't know. But anyway, that's how she survived. And then someone else told me she had like salt in the bathroom. But I don't I don't know why. We're, the other students were wondering why would you have salt in the bathroom? And someone said it something has something to do with balance of water and salt. And that some people put salt to provide some kind of I don't know like feng shui type of balance. Something like that. If, any, if anyone knows uh, anything about the balance between salt and water, please let me know. But isn't this an amazing story? Now it gets even better. So he's trapped in the toilet for eight days. Finally, finally the police come to get her. She hasn't showered or anything. Been in pajamas for eight, eight days. She rushes to the hospital to see her mother. But her mother has just fallen into a coma or become unconscious. And two hours after she gets out of the bath, out of the bathroom, she finally, you know, gets out. The, the police find her. The mother dies. The 90-year-old, the mother in her 90s, she dies. Wow, what a story, huh? So, um, the mother, you know, the mother saves her daughter's life and then dies. That's that's an amazing story. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you today and show you my tiny little bathroom. And uh, um, I'm going to do these uh, news-related videos once in a while. But that's a pretty remarkable story, I think. Oh, so my question for you, though, is two things. If you're a guy, if you're a guy, after you poop, do you take a look? and check it out, you know, to check it out, and why, you know, and number two, um, are you a folder, or are you a, a crumpler upper, that's the question for you, thanks for watching everybody, more videos coming soon, and talk to you soon.